Do not let this man sleep on you. What's up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm back with a specially requested SCR story. If this is your first time on the channel, please take the time to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you'd even hit that little ding dong bell, uh, if you are a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you. I appreciate your support. Let's get into this secret rare story. So this is the most sought after secret rare in the Dragon Ball Super card game, Son Goku, the Awakened Power. This card is extremely rare and extremely valuable. The PSA 10 that sold within the last couple months was upwards of $12,000. Why is this card so valuable? This card was a secret rare from a set called the Tournament of Power, which was a short printed set. There are some special rares in this set that are also extremely valuable. There's a Vegeta signature rare, there's a Beerus signature rare, there's a Golden Frieza signature rare, and there is a Goku signature rare. Uh, the Goku signature rare, I actually have one signed by Masako Nozawa. I got it signed at Comic-Con and there is a picture of me in the Dragon Ball newspaper getting my signature rare Goku signed in an Awakened Power t-shirt. According to SMR Magazine, which is a PSA publication, there are only 500 copies of this card. Now, I don't know if that's an accurate number, but I have done some research and looked on the PSA postings, and I know that there have been around 350, somewhere around there, of this card graded. I don't know exactly how many on BGS, but based on how many I know are out there and how many I know have been graded, I would wager to say it's probably over 500, but it may not be over 1,000. But it's very surprising that this card is already selling for so much given that it's only three years old. All right, so let's get into the story of this card. Son Goku, the Awakened Power. Now we're gonna have to take him out of the sleeve if we're gonna tell the story properly so you guys can see the card in all its beauty. Why is the card called Son Goku, the Awakened Power? So if he is awakened, that suggests that he was taking a nap. Goku falls into a spirit bomb that he creates while he's fighting Jiren and he essentially takes a little nap in the spirit bomb and then he awakens the ultra instinct omen form. So he took a nap and he woke up and when he woke up he was a lot more powerful. So powerful that a card that deals damage if it deals damage ends the game. Yes, that's correct. This card has a skill called Victory Strike. If Victory Strike deals damage, your opponent loses the game. So let's talk about this nap. How did this nap happen? Uh, where was he napping? Why was he napping? Yeah, so he fell into a spirit bomb and then he awakened this new form. Now, Goku took a nap during a fight. When was the last time Goku took a nap during a fight? Uh, let's rewind to the Frieza saga when Captain Ginyu stole Goku's body and couldn't hang at all, ended up damaging it really badly. A frog got thrown, Goku got his body back, and then he had to take a nap in a pod in Frieza's spaceship. What happened after he took that nap? He went Super Saiyan. A new form that was extremely powerful. It made Vegeta very scared. The moral of the story is do not sleep on this man and do not let this man sleep on you. Because if he takes a nap in the middle of a fight, you're gonna be in trouble. If you're one of those guys that's training to beat Goku out there, I've seen the t-shirts and I know who you are. And if you're one of them, do not let Goku fall asleep when you're fighting him. Because if he falls asleep, and he's gonna really bend your elbows in a way that you do not want your elbows bent. But let's take a minute and just appreciate how beautiful the foiling is. Just such a good looking card. But yeah, as a collector, collectors do look for the most popular character in the franchise, which is Goku. The most powerful form of the most popular character in the franchise, which is Ultra Instinct Mastered Goku, which is the form that he's in in this card. And this is kind of the ultimate moment of the Dragon Ball Super Series. So given that it is the height of the Dragon Ball Super Series, the card game is called the Dragon Ball Super Card Game. And this is arguably the most powerful card in the game if you get hit with it. I love the card. I know Evan U7, if you're out there watching this video, this card means everything to you. I really recommend, I think even though it is really expensive, if you are a collector and you have the money to drop on getting one of these, it's worth getting one of these cards because it is not going to get cheaper. I'm Joku DMD. Thanks for coming to my show. I can't end the show without doing a dental tooth tip. Uh, I don't know if you have watched Dragon Ball closely, but if you have, you may have noticed that 
Dragon Ball characters only have two teeth, I guess. One big tooth on the top and one big tooth on the bottom. I have no idea how you would do a root canal on one of these teeth. I was not trained to deal with a situation like this, so I cannot give you more information on how to provide dental hygiene for a Dragon Ball character. Don't sleep on it. This has been Joku DMD. Thanks for coming to my show. If you enjoyed this story, please take time to hit that subscription button if you are a returning member of the Joe Crew. Thanks for your continued support, and I will see you next time.